Ladies and gentlemen, yo, Brian, don't call us and uh, we'll return the favor. <laughs> okay, we have one more act for you on open mic night, so let's just move things right along, shall we? Put your hands together, please, for Alan Shaman. Hi. Um, the more astute amongst you may have noticed by now that I am, in fact, Scottish. So, um, I've got a bit of an accent. Well, to be honest, I've got a complete accent, but I only use a bit of it. <laughs> See, I'm trying not to wear it out, because I read somewhere that when you die, you can trade in parts of you that you haven't used very much, so they can be passed on to the next soul. So there'll be queuing up for Justin Bieber's brain, for example. <laughs> Pretty sure it's still not shrink wrap. <laughs> Apparently, um, every week they have different trade-in deals. So, you know, personally, I'm hoping to get something that will make life in heaven a bit more palatable. Like, uh, I don't know, a handful of extra virgins or something. <laughs> mm, that'd be good. But on you know, my luck, that week it'll be Tupperware. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm knocking Tupperware. I suppose you need somewhere to keep all the mana. <laughs> As you can probably guess, because this is open mic night, um, I'm not a professional. I'm not used to standing up in front of people and, uh, and making them laugh. <laughs> Court appearances don't count, do they? <laughs> I don't know what the jury found so funny anyway. <laughs> but um, since this is my first time, I wondered if I could ask you a favour. Um, if any of you have got a mobile phone or, or anything like that, could you maybe just check it and, and make sure that it's switched on? <laughs> yep. And, um, and maybe you could just ring up a friend and have a wee chat. In fact, maybe you could all just text amongst yourselves for the next five minutes. I mean, let's face it, you'd probably have more fun. And, um, and I'd get to feel all superior about your boorish behaviour. So it'd be a win-win. My uncle just came out of the closet on his 65th birthday. No, he's not gay, he's just really interested in coat hangers. <laughs> Oh, but before I forget, um, does everyone here like dolphins? Aye, you know, the big fish things. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> dolphins are not fish. Well, I suppose you could be right, eh? Because they actually taste more like bacon. <laughs> but, um, okay, yeah, it seems like, you know, pretty much all of you like dolphins. And has anyone ever gone swimming with dolphins? Yeah. There's a couple down here. And, and you? Yep. Oh, actually, there's quite a few of you. Yep. So, can I ask you, how did you find it? Wow. Amazing. Yep. And you, sir? What did you think? Best thing I ever did. Best thing you ever did. Oh, well, there you go. See me, I can't fucking stand dolphins. <laughs> you know, don't get me wrong. Um... I only have a couple of rules that I lead my life by, but uh, but one of them is never trust an animal with a bloody great hole in its head. <laughs> well, unless you just put it there with a gun or a pointy <laughs> stick or something. I mean, what's with the hole? They say it's for breathing, but um, but you've seen dolphins. They've got huge noses. They need another one like they need a hole in the head. <laughs> but you see, I've given it a bit of thought. And uh, I reckon I've cracked it. It's nothing to do with breathing. It's an electronic socket. <laughs> and you see, what happens is, in the middle of the night, all the dolphins in the world, they all swim down to the deepest, darkest depths of the ocean. 
I mean, we're talking 100 feet. <laughs> Maybe more. Let's face it, I mean, there's some things we'll just never know. It's a long way, though. And down on the ocean floor, there's this huge dome-like structure with all these tentacles floating about. And on the end of each tentacle, there's a jack plug. And the dolphins all swim up, and they grab one of these plugs and stick it in a hole. <laughs> and so they just float there all night. Thousands of them. A giant iPod of dolphins. <laughs> I don't know what they're listening to exactly. Maybe it's some kind of motivational tapes or something. Probably not whale music though, because the wrong size plug, eh? <laughs> but whatever it is, it's not doing them any good because you've seen the way dolphins behave, eh? I mean, they're zooming around all the time like they're on speed and chuntering away. <laughs> I mean, have you, have you ever wondered why dolphins make the monkey noises? Well, I'll tell you why dolphins make the monkey noises. It's because they're duplicitous bastards, that's why. <laughs> I mean, did you know this? A dolphin has got more teeth than a shark. More teeth than a shark. Did you know that? Did you know that? I didn't know it till I just said it. <laughs> but there you go, you learn something every day. And you see, the trouble with a shark as a predator is, it's a bit bloody obvious. The name doesn't help for a start. Shark! It's just too scary. You know, you hear that and you're out of the water in a second. I mean, if I was a shark, first thing I'd do is change my name to Fluffy Bunny. Damn sure I'd have a better chance of sneaking up on people then. But the other problem with your shark is, they just emanate evil. You know, like you see one swimming towards you and you just feel this... See me, I'm coming over there and I'm going to sink my teeth into your thigh and I'm going to rip your entire leg off and there's going to be gallons of blood and bits of bone and entrails everywhere. And see with all this salt water? It's going to nip like buggery. <laughs> and to be honest, loads of people survive shark attacks because their survival instincts fire up and they fight back. And you see, not, not many people know this, but sharks actually have an incredibly highly developed sense of fair play. <laughs> and if you fight back hard enough, the chances are the shark will think, oh, well, he put up a good show there, I'll throw him back. And, uh, and he'll just let you go. But let me ask you this, how many people do you know that have ever survived a dolphin attack? <laughs> tell you. None. <laughs> because, well, you never expect it. I mean, you're swimming along and you see a dolphin and it's all like, eek, 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 and you think, oh, look at that cheeky wee monkey. You know, and, and your instinct for self-preservation doesn't kick in in time. So, like, you're easy game. So, yeah, dolphins act all friendly all the time, but, but you ask a tuna what happens when you get friendly with a dolphin. I'll tell you, you end up in a can in a supermarket shell. <laughs> Sorry, I'll wait for you. No, if you ask me, those bastards are in commission to John West or someone. And you talk to any of those people that have been swimming with the dolphins, and they'll say things like, Oh, it was amazing. I was just swimming along, you know, and chilling out, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, all these dolphins appeared. And, and man, it's incredible the way... They just manoeuvre through the water all around you. And, and they come really close in, but if you put your hand out to try and touch one, they always just move away. They always just keep a couple inches out of reach. Because if a dolphin doesn't want to be touched, you can't touch it. <laughs> I good luck telling that to a Catholic priest in a wetsuit. <laughs> and those same people will tell you, Oh, if you make eye contact with a dolphin, it's wonderful. Because when you gaze into its big eyes, you just know that you're sharing the wonders of existence with a highly intelligent being. <laughs> oh, well, maybe, but it's a highly intelligent being that's thinking, 
How can I peel this bastard and eat him before his mates know it? <laughs> so you see the cute monkey noises are just a ruse. Let me just point out a crucial difference between monkeys and dolphins that, that may help to illustrate my point here. It's a well-known fact that if you take an infinite number of monkeys and you lock them in a room with a typewriter, they will eventually produce the entire works of Shakespeare. Okay, they'll also eat all your bananas and throw shit at the walls, but you know, <laughs> that's the artistic temperament. You've just got to live with that. But see, dolphins, when you give them a typewriter and let them batter away with those big flippers, pointless, total waste of time. They couldn't string a sentence together, let alone Hamlet's soliloquy. So, you might hear people say dolphins are intelligent, but in reality, they're functionally illiterate morons. Okay, so they could hold down a job and talk back radio, but that's about it. And see, the other thing I hate about dolphins, you know, because I like to be balanced, is people going on about how brilliant they are at swimming. Well, pardon me for bursting that balloon, but, um, but look at me. I never learned to swim until I was 30. Well, come on, be fair, I grew up in Edinburgh. It wasn't warm enough to go in the water until I was 29. <laughs> so yeah, I went on a one-week course to learn to swim. And, uh, and one month after that, I was splashing around in the Pacific Ocean, eight kilometres off the coast of New Zealand, in, oh, it must have been 100 feet of water. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I can't blame the dolphins for the plane crash. <laughs> But, you know, given my minimal experience, I, you know, I thought I coped quite well. Now, compare that with dolphins, like 20 million years of evolution. Or, or sorry, 3,400 years since God created them. Depending on your point of view, you know. I don't want to alienate most of the audience. <laughs> but, uh, but either way, it's a long time. And what have they come up with? Okay, you know that synchronised backflip thing they do with their mates? Yeah, I mean... You know, that looks pretty cool, I'll give you that. But, um, but have they mastered the breaststroke? <laughs> nah. The only other thing they can do is, is that, that thing. You know where they stand up straight in the water with their flippers by their sides and they, and they wobble backwards? <laughs> yep, think that's clever. They just nicked that from the Irish. <laughs> I will make you laugh, but next time you see them doing it, just think, river dance. <laughs> and even then, the dolphins can only stagger backwards when they do it. At least the Irish can go side to side a bit as well. <laughs> anyway, my time here is nearly up now, but um, you know they say you can judge someone by the friends they keep? Well, um, as I've just conclusively proved, dolphins are illiterate, plagiaristic zombies with murderous tendencies. <laughs> So, um, maybe we'll try one more time, eh? Does everyone here like dolphins? <laughs>